If you're just looking at the brain and neuroscience, relationships help me learn how to regulate the entire range of my emotional states, especially my more afflicting ones, the more troubling ones. I need your brain to help me most efficiently regulate that. Mm. If I don't have much practice with you, if you're my dad or you're my older brother, if I don't have much practice with you asking me questions about what I feel, helping me to talk about that in a world in which I'm increasingly more anxious because I got all this stuff I got to do, but I'm less connected, so I'm not really able to regulate the anxiety that I have, my brain is going to keep track of this. Mm. If I don't have those relationships that are embodied and learning how to slowly teach me how to regulate my emotion by virtue of your empathy and by virtue of your correction, by virtue of your helping me learn, oh, you can be angry and be okay. You can be sad and be okay. You can be afraid. You can be embarrassed. You can be joyful and you can be okay. If I don't have that kind of regulatory process going on that is embedded in me telling you the truth about my story. What was, what was school like today? One of the things we did in our home with our kids growing up was like we would talk about highs and lows every day. What were the things that really gave you joy today? And what were the things that were really hard? Because we wanted them to have the experience of being able to put words yeah. to really difficult relational experiences.